Hey guys, it's Andrew here. I'm going to talk about importing a PDF as a vectorized image. I'm going to explain what that means, but essentially it's going to come in so you can actually click on the points instead of having to remember all the measurements. There are some downfalls uh, with this method I'm going to show you in this uh, set of plans uh, that you need to know about so that you can understand the accuracy you're going to get out of this method. I'm going to use a program called Inkscape and Inkscape is essentially a free program that you can download and, and get your job done pretty quick. One other thing guys, I do recommend that you actually uh, reach out to the designer or the architect or whoever has actually drawn the plans and actually get the original uh, DWG file instead of messing with the PDF. I do think it's a faster, more accurate way of doing it. However, let's have a quick look. On the left hand side, you'll see that I have a PDF here and on the right hand side, I'm inside a SketchUp. And I've imported that PDF and I actually have dimensions on my PDF or I imported it as a DWG and I converted it via Inkscape. Right, so when I click on this uh, here, I actually have snap points. So if I went to my move tool, you'll notice that I have end points and I have, uh, if I select it, I have an edge. Right? I don't have faces, so there is a lot of uh, geometry inside of these files that can cause problems as well guys. So if you're working on a lower spec computer, be careful, uh, you may find it slows down uh, SketchUp dramatically. One other thing I'm gonna show you is that once you have imported this uh, vectorized PDF, uh, you can turn it on and off. It automatically comes in on a layer or a tag in the new SketchUp. Okay, all right, so how did I go about doing this? I'm gonna go over to uh, Inkscape here and I'm gonna show you I've imported a PDF. So basically, file, open, and go and select the PDF that you want to import. It'll take three or four seconds on a faster computer and it'll import like this. And I now have this PDF. As simple as that, I can just go file and go save as, and type in the file name that I want to call it so I can find it easily. And I'm gonna type this one in as demo. Uh, and most importantly, save as type. If I click the drop down, you'll notice that we're looking for a, an AutoCAD file. So there's two here, desktop cutting plotter, and I had a problem with the R12. So I went to desktop cutting plotter, DXF R14, which is the second in the list, and I've, I'll go save. There are a lot of options here, and I have changed this to millimeters, but I did find that just the default was fine as well. The main thing to remember, this isn't going to come into scale, so we'll, we'll scale this when we get it in, and plus Design Build and Plus Peg both have uh, scale tools that enable you to do that. So that's saving that DWG there for me now, from the PDF, and I'm going to go back to SketchUp over here, say, and I would usually import this over Terrain as well, guys. If I'm trying to do cut and fill and so on, you can watch some of my other videos for that. Uh, but I now have a blank SketchUp file. If I go to File, Import, and I'm going to go to my latest location, so quick access, you'll notice I've got demo DXF there. In my file name, I can type in the name, but when I click it, it'll automatically find it. But if you don't see your file here, you'll notice there's a drop down on the right. All supported types should find everything there uh, that is supported by SketchUp. Uh, and DWG and DXF is. You can also click on AutoCAD files, DWG and DXF, and you'll notice that it just minimizes it. And there's the one that I put in, and I'm gonna go import. You do have options here that you can mess around with, but I've just got import materials. It seems to work fine, so I'm just gonna go import. And you'll notice that it's importing that DWG for me. Depending on the speed of your computer and the size of the PDF, it could take you know up to a minute. Right, it's told me that I have uh, 31,000 2D polylines and I have two layers. And you notice over here my tags are layers of uh, a blank. And I'll go close. And now you'll notice that I actually have my tag. So if you wanted to turn things on or off, you can import multiple PDFs as vectorized DWGs and you could have them on the vertical axes. Uh, to suit yourself. However, let's have a look at this here and first things first I'm actually going to just see uh, if this is to scale by default So I'm just going to use the tape measure tool inside of SketchUp. 
click on the end of the dimension line, click on the end of the dimension line, you'll notice in the bottom right hand side here, it's telling me the length and you can see that's a long way out. Now if I had other geometry, and in this case I do, if I've got a little SketchUp man down there, if I use the scale tool inside of SketchUp, I wouldn't achieve the result I actually required. So Pluspec and Plus Design Build have a specific tool for this. And if I go up to here and I click on my import of PDF and scale, and then I click on my scale tool, it's saying first you must select something. So I'm going to select it, spacebar, and it does select, scale tool. And then I'm going to scroll in. And basically the reason I had to select it because it wanted to know what to scale. It didn't know whether to scale the little man here or, or the file. And I'm going to left click on the end of my dimension line and I'm going to go over to the right here and I'm going to type in the measurement which is 14750, enter. And now what you'll notice, if I go Shift Z, it's actually created that to this measurement. So if I went down and dimensioned this line, it should be correct. Right, and it is. However, I would want to double check that this plan is scaled on two. And you'll notice that we're out uh, 10 millimeters there. Now, that could be a plan error. It could be a pixel difference when it was imported as a PDF. There's multiple things it could be. And I'm gonna quickly go through and, and show you the way I would double check my, my main measurements so I could uh, go through and do it. And I also want to quickly explain that if you imported this as a DWG, you would have multiple tags. So you could turn a lot of the stuff off. Or if you actually went to the plus spec or plus design build import PDF tool, you could actually import the white PDF behind it and choose the architect or designers or drafts person's DWG. And you can see all of your measurements and probably would work better and more accurately than what we're doing here. However, let's move forward. We have this vectorized uh, PDF into SketchUp now, and I'm going to use my tape measure tool again here. And what I want to do is if I, you can see that because we have edges here, I can use my tape measure tool. If I move my mouse down or up, it's actually putting a, 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 a guideline there for me. And if I started to type in my measurements, 590, and you'll notice I'm actually out just a touch there on the first one. So accuracy, depending on the accuracy, if you're just going to do an estimate from this file and you found that you were out five or 10 mil, I don't think that you're gonna have a problem. However, you can see here that, now I could go and rescale, I could do a whole heap of different things. However, it's important for you to know the potential of this being slightly out. You can see we're out 10 millimeters over 23, almost 24 meters. It's not a big deal for estimating because it'll be a quarter of a brick and you might just scale it a little bit bigger so that you're slightly over with your quantities instead of being under. Anyway guys, that's how to import a PDF as a DXF or a DWG file into SketchUp and scale it so that you can start to draw more quickly and more accurately. Anyway guys, if you've got any questions, ask them below. If you like the video, push like. If you dislike the video, push dislike. But make sure you tell us why so we can improve on the next one. Cheers guys.